Yes, yes it's like they multiple are. people in tears. You know why? Because they ready for some girl chat. <laughs> dating app Tinder. You know that, right? You yes. Know? yes. Where singles swipe right and left on people that they like. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently not everyone's so single. Mm-hmm. A new survey from Global Web Index says that four out of ten people on Tinder are either in a relationship or married. <gasps> oh! Four out of ten. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Most uh, of the people yeah. said who signed up said they aren't really looking to actually date, that they only did it out of curiosity and it helped boost their self-esteem. Right. Wow. Yeah, right. The problem, wow. however, is that these people aren't telling their partner that they signed up. And when they see the app on their phones, you know, the other person, mm -hmm. huge fights can occur and actually in relationships or marriages. So, no. ladies, do you think it's okay for people in relationships to be fishing in the dating pool? No. no. Why? Mm. I'm gonna flee from temptation, not run to it. Okay. That just sounds crazy to me. Right? I don't get it. If you're on Tinder, that means you're doing something or you're not fully happy with right. your relationship. Why are people relationship? so greedy? I think people just being yeah. greedy. Right? You know, you got your married person. Yeah. Let me find a person that I wanna be with. Let me right. find yeah. my because everybody wants to have their cake and eat it, too. The craziest That's part about this is, if you want to cheat, this seems like not a very smart way to go about it. Like, clearly, you want to get caught. First of all, they make you put a picture of yourself up on the app. Mm -hmm. So this, obviously, if you have single girlfriends and they see your husband on Tinder, they're going to tell yeah, you about it, and you're going to get caught. It's just dumb. And it's a small world, too. Tinder yes. is such a major app. I know friends who know their friends, who have dated their friends, and they all tell each other and their friends. You know what I'm wow. saying? So the web is thick. I do think, however, that it is wise to multi-date. I do. I do think it's important to date and keep your options open if you're not married. Yeah. And if the other person is very well aware that got you it. are still swiping. You know got what I'm it. saying? Yeah. You got to be honest. I just <laughs> kicked Lonnie under the table. So <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry about move, that. Okay, over. but this is my thing. <laughs> if you are married, under what circumstance should you be doing this and your spouse be like, it's cool, right. he's just doing it because... No. Yeah. Well, I, I... No, 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 no. No, right? Like, who's dumb enough to believe, babe, I just want to look at who's available? Yeah. What? That yeah. sounds insane! Well, I mean, for some people, though, it might be a self-esteem boost. Because I can it's see like, why they're, they're saying that. Right. Yeah. You know, they feel a little bit bad. Yo, why like, doesn't it boost your self-esteem? Right? That's, no, and then that's the no. issue. Yeah, there's a lot of marriages where they're broken and they're not focused on fixing their marriage, so they're selfish and they're going the selfish. rascal right way about it, which is just to swipe to go make themselves feel better, because just one photo doesn't mean that you're pretty on the inside either, okay? So yes. don't get that Or they bags. might be going through a bit like crisis, yes. so they kind of use the app as a way to kind of boost their self-esteem yes. that way to see if they still hot and they still available. Yes. But that's not the way to do it. You need to talk to your partner about that. Of course. That. That's 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 okay. Right. And yeah, yeah, but the I'm saying, like, as the wife, like, if, you're, if your husband was like, Oh, babe, I just want to see that I... It's a I, wrap. I still it's have a exactly. wrap. Exactly. No, like, anybody no, no, with no. some sense would be like, nah, fam, I'm not staying in this. And like, to further explain that's that. That's disrespectful. The reason is because whether or not you're just swiping just for the sake of swiping, it doesn't matter what you're doing or what you intend to do. Right. It looks shady as all hell get out yeah. because you shouldn't be swiping in the first place. For you, Adrian, I mean, I feel like once you get married and yeah. you're happily married, that confidence in itself makes you boost your self-esteem. Yes. Yes. Like, guys are, you know, they'll still, you know, look or whatever, but yeah. I don't know. I used to say, though, Not looking for when that. I was married, I used to say, the moment we started looking at other people, the moment you start yes. wanting or start feeling good about yourself when other people are noticing, that's when you've let it gone too far already. Yeah. That's when your marriage is already going down the, the drain and you're letting it go for down sure. the drain. Yeah. It. Also, it's tempting. Even if you don't, if you that's just want to... It's, it's, it's a tempting thing because you might see something that you really like. So I wouldn't suggest that you you do it, you know, unless you talk to your person, your partner, whoever it is, yeah. but I, it, you just leave it alone. If I'm you're saying. in an open marriage, whatever floats your boat, but if the other person doesn't know, that's right. just not just cool. Right, just leave and it alone. Yeah. what happened to good old-fashioned role-playing? Why can't you role-play that you met your spouse on Tinder? I think oh. this kind of couple, couple is already broken. They're yes. past that role-playing. Yeah. Yes, Do you know are. what I mean? What like does that saying? look like, though, Jeannie? Like, you know, <laughs> if, if we're married and all of a sudden, you know, you feel like you know each other, you say the same things, you come uh. home, how was your day, how was your day, you eat right. the same potato and beans, mm -hmm. whatever it is. <laughs> but if you want to switch it up a bit, what if 
I don't. I think there's something sexy about role playing when you pretend you don't know each other. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the old way of doing it is kind of like go you know, to a pretty hotel. woman. You go to a hotel. She gets dressed up. You meet each other. Hello, what's your name, Playa? My name's Donette, or whatever it may yeah. be, right? <laughs> Donette. But, but, eating beans and potatoes. Yes. <laughs> but in a Tinder, you could try. You could actually swipe. I would, if I was in a relationship that was failing, I would take some really sexy pictures, uh -huh. put myself in a profile, send them as a swipe to my man, um. and play like you just met me, and play the whole oh, meeting see, game cute. between that, and just let him see a little something secret in the DM. Yeah, you know but what, what I mean? if somebody else be like swiping too? Like, hey, yeah. baby, you know? No, you're gonna just, just open him. a can of worms. No, with that. I'm not saying on public yeah, Twitter. I got I'm just saying, oh, to him. I'm not on Twitter. On your like, on send Twitter? it to you. On Twitter. <laughs> Tinder mixed together makes Tinder. Would you? Our friends' minds are in the gutter. Help I me know. out. I have a question, Katie. Would yeah. you ever try Tinder now? So I'm looking at dating apps now, mm -hmm. and I really think it's interesting. I want to see what it's like. I want to understand what is it like yeah. to meet somebody, and how does that game even start going? You have to get your foot wet somehow. You have we to ought to just put you there. on there. You think just so? Just to see yeah. what yeah. happens? That's the same. I know. I want to see, I wanna see who, how many I would get. Like, I how many, know. Who will you swipe right to? Yes. Like, what's your type? Like, I want to see what you're looking for now. We got to make that is... a show. Let's put her on there. Let's yes. make that on there. I know. I want to see. I think that'd be good. I need you guys to help me write my bio, though. I would, yes. yes. Yes? That would be fun. Oh, yes. no, let guys... me do it. Because yeah. these two, they, they homies. I got the sick. Yeah, I want, bio. I want you to help me write my bio out and everything. <laughs> Lottie, good. what would you put yes. to describe the beautiful Jeannie Mai? I would say an exotic. <laughs> oh. Ooh, exotic is good. Yeah, I'll describe her as exotic. Keep going, there's more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exotic, fun filled, beautiful woman uh -huh. who's looking for a man to steal her away. Oh! <laughs> I thought you was gonna say she's looking for a good time. I know, right? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then under it, I would go dot, 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 and knock that back out. That's <gasps> sweet. Yeah. Oh hey, somebody you never know. Praise God. Yeah, see, the guys like that. They yeah, like, they like, do. Swipe, They're swipe. God. They're what smiling. would you write? What would you write, Tam? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I yes, you do. What, what would for, you, for Jeannie? What do you think for, is the best way? Because it's not about so much about just me. It's so about what you want to attract. Well, okay, okay. In Tinder, you're just having fun on, right? You're right. not really looking for no, like people, a serious, you serious. You're looking for love. Really? Yeah. The only thing I can think of right, you know, right now is to start it out with, "Hello, honey." <laughs> <laughs> If you want to start you know, it with fun. hello, honey, yes. and then from there, looking for someone to go on a wild adventure with. Great. Yes. To travel. Loves dancing. Stimulate my mind. Yes. And and my body. No, I'm okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh you love gosh, dancing. You guys. Um, yes. You're all about food porn. Old yes. Porn yeah. pop. You know I what love. I, mean? well, I want SWV. I want to listen to Thirty Six Chambers. Like yes. I have like. All the good old school music, you know yes. what I mean? But someone that likes to travel, that likes to have yes. fun, spontaneous fun. Has to be cultured. Yes. Cultured. Has to, like, love yes. in mind. Are you, do you have heart. an age, um, like, requirement? Um, I would say, uh... What? Go, girl! 20. Go. 20. They have to at least be able yes. to drink. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not mad at so, dating a 28, 29 year old. Oh, I wanna, okay, I, that's I'm not fine. mad at that. I want to, you know, I have a younger personality. Right. So I tend to relate to yeah. younger men. 28, so 29. Yeah, that's right. Girl, yeah. Okay, 28, 29 to what? That's it? 48, 49. Okay. Nice. I like that's sexy, a nice handsome range. man. I like nice soft range. That's Yes, nice range. right? Nice range. And um, um, I really like somebody who um, loves singing out loud. Um, I love. They have to love food. They have to be yes. okay with travel. Okay. Um, and kids? they have to be funny. Can they have kids? Yeah, kids are okay. I love kids. She just. Okay. I, I just don't want to have, have them right now. But, but if I'm you got kids. them, it's okay. Yes. Okay. And but if the kids can like feed themselves, clothe themselves, maybe <laughs> drive nice. us to the bar. <laughs> oh, that's better for older me. kids, oh, not yes. babies. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's so you out the 20s if you do that. That's like up in the yeah, 30s, Yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to work. The yeah. 20, 28, that yeah. kind of person. 20, right? 28 might not have kids at all. Yeah. That is true. But I'm excited for you, Jeannie. Yeah, I can't I wait for you to experience um, love ooh, again. You guys have to be filter, Seriously. For sure. Well, from stealing someone's <laughs> wife to stealing someone's wedding, listen up to this. One bride-to-be is fuming after she found out her pregnant best friend, who's also engaged decided to move up her wedding five weeks and get married at the same venue Ooh. she was going to have hers at. 
The woman wrote on a blog on Mum's Net titled, She's Stolen My Wedding, <laughs> explaining that their friend groups are the same and okay. that she basically is going to do the exact same wedding she was going to do, so now she's going to look like a copycat. Oh, no. So, ladies, do you think she's being a bridezilla or does she have a legitimate gripe here? I mean, is it? it I, the colors are different. Yeah. I mean, is everything I, the same? Yeah. Or just the, the venue. I'm trying not to think as the bride, um, the bride that booked it first. I'm trying to think of as the other one that moved hers five weeks before. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I would never do that to someone. Of I don't course. care if, right. if you can say all you want that the other girl shouldn't care. And oh my God, it's your wedding. It'll be different no matter what. What friend does that though? Like who, like, I'm sorry, there's bad it... venues. You could definitely do something else. I don't care what the circumstance is, especially because this one in particular, I read the entire article. Okay. This one in particular, she wasn't doing it at like just a hotel or like a ballroom, like a basic thing. She actually found a home and was doing it in a home and letting her, her guests stay in cottages and it was an entire weekend that they were gonna do. And she's doing the and exact same thing. And the next girl thing. is doing the exact same thing and doing an entire weekend with the whole family in the house. Yes. Oh, Who well, does that? Shady. You don't do yes. that. That's just okay. shady. That is 100% shady, but I'm gonna tell you this. If I was the second bride that uh -huh. was having the wedding afterwards, I'm in the best position possible. Because let that heifer go ahead and plan her wedding. Let her go ahead and plan exactly where the vows are gonna take place, where the dancing is, where she sets up the lighting and the guests. And then guess what? Boo, you get to 2.0 it and make it better anyway yeah. because you had the original that's, idea. That's that was the You wanna be second. You, exactly. exactly. That was the, you yes. can watch everything and be like, oh, that actually did it. Because I'm not yes. going to lie, for a lot of people, their weddings, they go, man, I wish I would have done it here instead after I saw how yes. it worked out with the lighting and everything. Thank you, Adrian. So she will be the dress rehearsal. Maybe that's what I'm you get just, for being shady. I'm just, that's what you get for that's, being shady. As Mama Mai would say, that, that is the so God shady. Well, what do you don't know, Tim? Yes. You would never do that to someone. You would what, never Tim? do it, but let's just say, let's speed up. It's if happened. It was, it's happened now. Well, if it was do? really, really, really nice, I think sometimes naturally if you're friends, you, maybe your interests kind of like cross over. Yeah. If you know what I mean. And uh, I think imitation is the best form of flattery. And to me, weddings, you can make, if you have the same venue, that's cool. You can put your own spin on it. You can, you can uh, change, you know, the colors. You can use different flowers. You can get a different DJ. I don't know. I mean, so you're so unique. Problem. Well, I mean, Adam and I actually had a really good friend who got married before we did. And they did something that was really cool uh, during their dance. They actually wore really cute jerseys, their favorite like sports team. Mm -hmm. Adam and I did the exact same thing. And they weren't like, oh my God, they copied us. They were like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that you guys like that. Yeah. You guys looked cute doing it as well. Did but, you like, ask or tell them before you did it? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, so I don't that remember, means no. but, but no, we're still friends, you know, that means still this no. yeah, day. Like I stole my sister's song to walk down, not to walk down to, but like my whole family did a processional yeah. and we used the theme song to, um. Good times. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> to the, to the fall, fall. The fall. Jeffersons. No, <laughs> fall. The fall. Legends of the, the Fall. fall. Gee. Okay. <laughs> the theme song of Legends of the Fall. All okay. that to say, I use that. She also read the same poem that I read from her wedding, so uh -huh. I stole a lot of her ideas. But y'all sister. She's my but, sister. Yes. Like, and might I add, every, everything I did that I took from her wedding, I asked her, hey, is it cool if I yes. do this? That's cool. And she was like, oh my God, of course. And I think the maybe Adam, this was Adam's friend, so Adam probably asked, yeah. I'm, just not, I'm just not sure, but I know 100%. Oh, that's, that's definitely Adam. a no. If you lied on Adam, he, he didn't ask. No, but you know what, though? The Y'all just stole the... No, Those people's we did ideas. Not. That's, that's... <laughs> no, the lesson to this story is if you actually work together with the person, yeah. it can come out to an so amazing yes. new set of memories. Yes. And that's why those two should have went together because they could have gotten a Groupon deal, a two for one. Exactly. Set for the yeah, but well, because think, she was shady. No, yeah. I think at the end of the day, I agree with you, Tam, is that it's your wedding. And your wedding's gonna be different and unique. And maybe it, it might have been a cost issue. It may be, you know, it's something, it's something that happened. Who shit. knows? But yes, don't. But she's gonna get new ideas. Like Adrian said, when you'll you'll notice it when you are in the place to and get I married. Will say this. All of a sudden you see weddings differently. You start if, seeing ideas. If they were really close friends, you would know that your friend isn't okay with it. The moment a friend or your sister is not okay with it, then I wouldn't do it. Yeah, and you, you know that. Yes.
You can you feel it. That. You, you can, can sense feel that. It. Uh -huh. So I don't know how close they were then. Well, I if mean, but it's a, if it's a venue, I mean, everybody, it's different weddings all the time, so. That, that but it wasn't, it wasn't a wedding venue. Don't try to explain it. it. That girl pulled a shady move, <laughs> and I would rather go to the second wedding anyway, so invite me if you have to.